Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to get you more familiar with your Grandstream desktop VoIP phone. Before we get started, I want to tell you about a company who's been providing telecom services since 1985. US Tech is an industry leader in providing low cost VoIP, UCAS, SIP trunks, and every kind of telephone service in between. They can drastically lower your phone bills, provide telephone service for your home or business within hours, and provide ongoing technical support along the way. That's U.S. Tech. Call, text, or chat today and let U.S. Tech do the work for you. On the front of your phone, you're going to have these buttons here, these soft buttons. This is your voicemail button. Password. This is going to be your hold button. This is your transfer key. If you have a headset connected, this will be your headset button where you can listen to dial tone and answer calls from as well. This is a mute button and a do not disturb button. Up here on the side, the right side, you'll see park buttons, park one and two. These are hold keys as well. If you put the call on park, it's gonna show on everybody's phone instead of if you just put it on hold and it'll be on your own phone. Over here are the extension keys where the phone call will land. You'll notice these buttons light up green when you make a call or when you receive a call. These buttons up here are programmable. You can have four pages of these. And you'll notice if you hit this toggle button, it'll go to the extension keys that I have programmed on the next page. This is your history button. You can scroll up and down, see who's called you and who you've called, and then you can just dial back, push the dial button when you want to do that. Redial button is similar, except it just calls the last phone number that you dialed or that dialed you. All right, to make an outside call, all you're going to do is dial the number and hit pound or send. You can hit dial or pound. Thank you for calling US Technologies, offering advanced telecom solutions with unmatched field To make an intercom call, you can simply use these intercom buttons over here. Or you can dial the extension directly. Okay, now we're gonna place a call on hold. I'm gonna dial in from another phone and I'll show you how to do that. All right, right now I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna put it on hold. You'll notice on the other phone, I'm hearing on hold music. To get the call back, I'm just gonna hit resume. All right, let's see how you put a call on park. I'm gonna call in again. I'm gonna answer the phone. Now I'm gonna put it on park. You'll notice the caller is hearing on hold music as well. Since it's on park, every phone in the building will see it read on park and they can answer the phone if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and answer it back. Now I have the call. I can put it on park two again. I'm going to show you now how to transfer a call. I'm going to get the call back by picking it up on park. And I'm going to push this button, transfer. One, zero, one, send. Now the other person can pick up the phone and I can talk to them and then I can release the call to them. All right, now I'm going to transfer a call to another extension. I'm going to pick the call up. I'm going to hit transfer. And then I'm going to hit transfer again. And now my other phone's ringing. I'm going to go ahead and answer that phone. I'm going to put that on park. Uh, you'll notice I put it on park from my other phone. It's showing on park on this phone and all the other phones in the office. All right now I'm going to show you how to transfer a call directly to another phone's voicemail. You're going to pick the call up again.
you're going to hit transfer dial the extension hit star and then transfer again right now I'm going to show you how to set up your voicemail push the voicemail button and the password is going to be your extension number for on the first time that you log into your phone. Password. Two zero two. Welcome to voicemail. First, Just follow the prompts. J. Thank you. Press one to accept this. Rec your message has been saved. After the tone, say your unavailable message and then press the pound key. Hi, this is Jay from US Tech. I can't take this call right now, but please leave a detailed message and I'll get right back to you. Thank you. Press one to accept this recording. Your message has been saved. And that's all there is to it. All right, now I'm going to show you how to turn the Wi-Fi on the phone. Let's say you take your phone home and you don't have a data switch or a PoE switch at home, so you need to use it with Wi-Fi. First, you want to push this center button to get back to the home screen. Then you want to arrow right all the way to system, arrow down to Wi-Fi settings. Go ahead and toggle to the right to enable it. Wi-Fi is en enabled. Now we're going to look for Wi-Fi signal by going down to scan. All right, and I found one. I'm gonna click on the one I want. Click connect. We're gonna enter the password. To enter the password, use these keys here. You can toggle through these using uh, capital letters, uh, lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. I'm going to go to letters J H J H I'm going to go to numbers 2 0 0 4 3 2 one. Now I need to do an exclamation point. So how do you do that? You can go on any of these, but you're going to use the number one key. And I'm going to try and find an exclamation point here. It's kind of faint. Might want to wear your glasses on that. And it's right here. I'm going to push. Okay. And let's see if it connects. Wi-Fi network connected. So that's all there is to it. All right, the last thing I want to show you is how to make a conference call. Go ahead and dial an extension or a telephone number. I'm going to answer this one. Now I'm going to hit the conference button here. And I'm going to dial another extension. I'm going to answer that phone over here and I'm going to press conference call one more time. And as you can see on my screen, all three are joined in as one and that's all there is to it.